he's, like he said, he's got his debut poetry book coming out, but you've probably heard him here quite a few times before. So let's make some noise for Lee Campbell! We're sorry to interrupt this program, but we have a news flash. Car kiss. Well, boo hoo. Who hiss? You two car kiss. Well, boo hoo. Who hiss? I interrupt this broadcast. I command your immediate reaction. A few heart stopping seconds to put you in the moment. Brace yourselves. Wait to hear what follows those four chilly words. Chills on the back of your neck. I am a metaphorical figurehead of impoliteness. Flag bearer of free speech. Improper speaker. The pinnacle of rudeness. Gate crashing the spotlight. Have you ever heard of a polite and pre-announced heckle? A presence amongst an outraged public who give me my name. Who give me the badge. The heckler. Sorry to interrupt this programme, but we have a I speech. am the heckler, super heckler, homo heckler, vital agent in democratic exchange, productive interrupter, one in the eye for politeness, heckling, shortest, briefest, neatest, tidiest way of getting an idea across, and I heckle with finesse. You two can't kiss. Well, screw you, don't give a piss. Newsflash, all systems dislocated. I am the stop, the pause, the break within those smooth running operations of homophobia in your head. I will derail you. You see me as impoliteness, unfortunate behavioural aberration, nasty scum on the margins. Relegate me to the realm of vulgar and uncouth. Inscribe me as antisocial, but I am outspoken and courageous. I am super heckler. I am not an individualistic nuisance maker. I am a speaker for others. I avoid civil processes, never wait to be asked. An unreasonable speaker, but wholly necessary communicator. Stick out both my neck and tongue. Me being queer for you is a heckle, an interruption, a violation. I will keep on interrupting. View me as the enemy, neither official speaker nor silent mute. I am an impossible speaker. Never will I seek permission to speak, nor acquiesce to the normative need for harmony. Interruptions as poetic, lyrical, unexpected, transformative. I have to do this. I have to interrupt the world to save the world from you. Like a bolt out of the blue, decapitating heteronormativity, disrupting your commitment to continuity, to sequence, to pattern, to order everything into a heteronormative box. Heroic public speech superhero, super heckler suspending rhetoric. I preserve the right to speak out of turn. I preserve my right to live out of the confines of what you declare as normal. Inter rompere, inter between, rompere, break. We are hecklers, super hecklers, homo hecklers. Flash mobbing, streaking, protest marching, habit, hoc, habit. We take our lead from the Roman gladiatorial gates. We know our Latin. We do downturned thumbs. We are the emperor. If he downturns his thumb, you are thrown to the lions. We will break the between spaces from the start so your homophobia can't even make it past the finish. We are slapstick and we get knocked down but we survive. We take great pleasure in seeing your prejudices come undone. Schadenfreude. Us queers have split second timing and wit. 
volume and a sharp tongue on our side, and most importantly, the gift of humour. Our humour can wreck anything you think you can do and put down. Well, wait until you hear ours. Puncture and prick. We gobby queer insurgents have a catalogue of weapons to attack and destroy. And what you're going to do, Mr. Heteronormative, who's heckling who now? Approach one, abandon speaking. Leave. Approach two, carry on. Start again from scratch. Appear emotionally unscathed. Ignore. Approach three. Battle of the put-downs. Stand up to the heckler. Demonstrate resilience. Defeat the heckler. Oh, we'd like to see you try. What's your comeback? What's behind your smile? What's lurking in your bag? A trumpet? A rat? A snake? Something to calm your nerves? Have you ever heard of a nervous heckler? This is political dissent from religious foundation and English dissenters, we join those who speak against mainstream orthodoxies. Queer is a disruption. We are the disruptors. Young queer people, space architects, we're imagineers. We create spaces that destroy our fears. We survive in spaces where we thrive and our beauty comes alive. Yet, there are those who, there are those Yet there are those who create, who animate, constant self-policing, saying the right thing, body image, we're feeling quite oppressed ourselves. Your conviviality only excludes me. This community is not all rainbows. Antagonisms and heckles from those within its colours. Body shaming, identity naming. We will heckle you in just the same way. No one is uh, no one is let off scot-free. No one is superior just because you are one of us. We intervene in different ways. To the constant stream around us, we open spaces that disturb the course of everyday life. We refrain to an aim to reframe the way in which you see and understand the world, changing the direction of the conversation, rerouting it to a different territory, directing the flow of emotion, puncture the emotion so it gushes out like a liquid through a burst pipe, tension relieved and exploded through laughter. Our laughter bears no stamp of sympathy or kindness. You can beat us down, but we are hecklers and slapstickers, glorious in getting up again and again. Heckler is ear-turned mouth, impossible speaker, unacceptable talker, big mouth in the crowd, whistleblower, troublemaker. Baraka, Jira, Gabba, make no mistake, the heckler is never the schmoozer. Forget rational reasoned exchanges. Consider body acts. Make speech acts as well as speeches. Generate sounds. Say yuck, err, uh, boo, how, hiss. Sigh loudly, breathe heavily, hiss, howl and holler, shriek, shriek Heckle cry. act, All be heard, be seen. See me, see me. Thank you. Yeah. One more time for Lee Campbell, ladies and gentlemen. He even bought props, like, not many poets bring props. That's like, that's quite impressive. I like, I like the dedication to the craft and the theatre. Yeah, I'd be really confused at the start. I was like, does he, does he, did he hear me? Did he be like, like he's supposed to come on? But then I saw you, I saw you getting ready and I was like, oh, that's a powerful intro. So, here we go. Ladies and gentlemen, we're...